Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to prove cosine pi over 7 plus cos 3 pi over 7 plus cos 5 pi over 7 equal to half. So let's get started. I will consider some s equal to cos pi over 7 plus cos 3 pi over 7 plus cos 5 pi over 7. Now we are going to multiply both sides by 2 sin pi over 7. So we will write here 2 sin pi over 7 and here also we will multiply with 2 sin pi over 7. Now we have to expand RHS. We will multiply 2 sin pi over 7 with cosine pi over 7, with cosine 3 pi over 7, with cosine 5 pi over 7. Let's multiply. We will get 2 sin pi over 7 times cos pi over 7 plus 2 sin pi over 7 times cos 3 pi over 7 plus 2 sin pi over 7 times cos 5 pi over 7. Now we are going to use two powerful trigonometric identities. First one is 2 sin a cos a. This is equal to sin 2a double angle formula and second trigonometric identity is 2 sin a cos b this is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b so second formula we will use for second and third term here we will apply and here also and first formula we will apply for our first term. So I can get LHS would be 2 sin pi over 7 times s. This is our left hand side. Right hand side 2 sin pi over 7 cos pi over 7. We will write sin of 2 times pi over 7 or sin 2 pi over 7 plus 2 sin pi over 7 cos 3 pi over 7. We will use formula and we can write sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. So a is pi over 7, b is 3 pi over 7. Then we will write plus sin a minus b a is pi over 7, b is 3 pi over 7. This is our second term. Then we will use the same formula for our third term which is 2 sin pi over 7 times cosine 5 pi over 7. So we can write sin a plus b. Here a is pi over 7 and b is 5 pi over 7 plus sin a minus b. So sin pi over 7 minus 5 pi over 7. Now we have to simplify RHS. So I can write sin 2 pi over 7 our first term using double angle formula plus sin pi over 7 plus 3 pi over 7. So we can write sin 4 pi over 7 plus sin pi over 7 minus 3 pi over 7. We will write sin of pi minus 3 pi is minus 2 pi. So minus 2 pi over 7 plus sin pi over 7 plus 5 pi over 7. So I can write sin 6 pi over 7 and last term we will be writing 
sin pi over 7 minus 5 pi over 7 which will give us sin minus 4 pi over 7. Now we know that sin of minus theta this is equal to minus sin theta. So here we are going to write minus sin 4 pi over 7. And here we are going to write minus sin 2 pi over 7. So I will write our RHS equal to sin 2 pi over 7 plus sin 4 pi over 7 minus sin 2 pi over 7. plus sin 6 pi over 7 minus sin 4 pi over 7. This is our RHS and LHS is 2 sin pi over 7 times S. Now we can cancel sin 4 pi over 7 with minus sin 4 pi over 7 sin 2 pi over 7 with minus sin 2 pi over 7. So we have sin 6 pi over 7 in the RHS. And in LHS we will write 2s times sin of pi over 7. Now I can write our RHS sin 6 pi over 7 equal to sin pi minus pi over 7 pi minus pi over 7 is 7 pi minus pi 6 pi over 7. Now we know that sin pi minus theta this is equal to sin theta. So RHS will be equal to we will write our equation 2s sin pi over 7 RHS will become sin pi over 7. Now we will divide both sides by sin pi over 7. So I can write 2s sin pi over 7 divided by sin pi over 7. In RHS also we will divide by sin pi over 7 with sin pi over 7. Now we will cancel sin pi over 7 from numerator denominator both sides. We will get RHS 1. So 2s equal to 1. Now we will divide both sides by 2. So we can cancel 2 and 2 from left hand side. We will get our required sum s equal to half. Hence proved. I hope friends. You will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.